Many U.S. states are now offering new fourth stimulus checks to their residents. However, it is important to know that some people may have to file taxes to claim these new stimulus relief payments. So more relief money is now available to Americans, which friends is really good news. Remember friends, I'm here every single day to keep you up to date with the latest, most accurate and reliable stimulus news. I'm committed to being your daily advocate and supporting everyone in this community, including seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries. So please friends, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and share this video with your friends and family if they need more honest Fort Stimulus Check news. So friends, the big news for the state of California residents is that the final round of $600 and $1,100 are being sent out in three days. The California Franchise Tax Board announced this week that eligible Americans can expect the relief money to come in by January 11th. More than 180,000 stimulus checks valued at about $127 million are being sent to Californians right now. And each check is worth up to $1,100 and it's part of the final round of the second Golden State stimulus payments. The stimulus checks are meant to provide relief to low-income households affected by this ongoing crisis, which is really a great blessing, friends. California Governor Gavin Newsom has approved about $12 billion in stimulus relief. These Golden State stimulus payments began in October of 2021 and will continue through the end of this month. The checks have been mailed out according to your zip code but some of you may have to wait a little more for more relief because the tax board said that those who receive a paper check should expect for it to take up to three to five weeks once they are sent out. You must have $1 to $75,000 of California adjusted gross income to qualify for the checks. You also need to be an eligible California resident and filed your 2020 taxes. The California Franchise Tax Board says that has issued a total of 8.5 million Golden State stimulus payments. But some payments may need extra time to process for accuracy and completeness. So if your tax return is processed during or after the date of your scheduled zip code payment, please do allow up to 60 days after your return has been processed. So now as this crisis continues into 2022, so now as this crisis continues into this year, Millions and millions of Americans in other states are anxiously waiting for another federal stimulus payment. Stimulus checks serve the purpose of helping those in need stimulate the economy during a financial downturn, which is something that is really important right now as this crisis continues to negatively impact Americans across our country. So far, we have seen three stimulus check packages passed on the federal level the first stimulus package included $1,200 in direct payments, and the next one was $600. The latest stimulus payment as part of President Biden's American Rescue Plan Act sent $1,400 checks to Americans. So friends, remember, it is definitely likely that a fourth stimulus package will be passed given that the rising inflation and unemployment rates over the past few months have only been rising. The whole point of stimulus checks is to provide great relief during tough financial times, which is something that our lawmakers have to keep in mind. Congress definitely needs to take more action right now for the American people. Currently, unemployment claims are rising. More and more people are struggling to afford their everyday necessities, like prescriptions and food. President Biden could definitely push for another round of stimulus checks to be passed this month. Friends, the keyword for this video is alligator. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos. Comment below the keyword of each video that you watch and also please verify that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. After all, stimulus checks are immensely popular among American people. And according to Morning Consult and Political Poll, Nearly four in five Americans 
supported the $1,400 stimulus checks. Calls for at least more federal stimulus payments have been growing over the past few months. There are 21 Senate Democrats that have signed a letter to President Biden pushing for recurring payments. There's also a petition for monthly $2,000 stimulus checks, which is now one of the most signed petitions on change.org. Stephanie Bonin, a Denver restaurant owner, created the petition in 2020 as a crisis began and businesses had to close their doors. The petition called for $2,000 monthly payments for adults and $1,000 payments for children to help provide stability to families during the crisis. And it has recently reached its goal of 3 million signatures. People from every state have signed the petition. So it's very clear that President Biden should send out more stimulus checks to Americans. But do keep in mind that President Biden would have to go through two corporate Democrats, Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema, who have both served as two major obstacles towards President Biden's agenda. Republican leader. This week on this floor, we're poised to witness something that has never happened before in living memory. An attempt to attack the core identity of the Senate by a sitting majority leader. The senior senator from New York once said nuking the filibuster would, quote, turn what the founding fathers called the cooling saucer of democracy into the rubber stamp of dictatorship. He said it would make the country into a banana republic, a doomsday for democracy, he said. Now he wants to trigger that doomsday himself. When I was a majority leader, some of my own party urged me to break the Senate for our own party's short-term gain. My answer was a simple word, no. Less than four years ago, the senior senator from Illinois said nuking the legislative filibuster, quote, would be the end of the Senate as it was originally devised and created going back to our founding fathers. Now well, friends, that is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who is watching my videos every day. And I truly hope that you all found this video helpful. Please make sure that you share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so very much and have a very blessed week.